Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use the spark lines in Google Sheet. As you are seeing my screen, I have created the spark line for employee by sales here, line spark lines. And here we have the column spark lines also, wherein we are showing the product wise margin. And here we have taken the employee attendance to show the bin loss spark line. If I will change the attendance for any employee, let's say from present to absent then here you can see this red dot so we have seven days attendance and this is and this is here seven dots red or green okay green means it is present and red means it is absent so as you change the attendance accordingly that dot will be changed i will explain you step by step how you can use this sparkline feature in google sheet so let's start without delay so let me delete the formula first then I will show you from the starting. Okay, so first of all we will see how we can create the line spark line. The first question is what is spark line? So friends spark lines are kind of a mini chart which we can show in our Google Sheet cell. You can easily visualize the trend of your data or you can easily see the present or absent like we have displayed here in the attendance so we can use the sparkline formula here so we have directly sparkline formula and then first we need to provide the data then we need to provide the options so data will be this one so here we will select this range okay and then the option is optional i will show you that also so let me close the bracket first and hit the enter so we are getting the line spark line by default you can fill this down to see the trend over the week for each employee sale okay and you can change the color of this using the font color so let's say i want to take the green color then it will show the green color we have lot of options here so i will show you the options to show the option we have to use the curly bracket and then we can use the options here and in the curly bracket in the inverted comma we will put our option for example we want to put the chart type and close the inverted comma then we will put the comma and we will put our chart type so let's say here i am putting line okay because we want to create the line chart and to provide the another argument you need to provide the semicolon here then you can use the another argument for example i want to use the line width okay and comma you can provide let's say line width i'm taking three little thicker line okay then you need to provide the semicolon again and you can put another argument like color okay and put the comma then and provide the color let's say i'm saying color as orange and close the bracket so if you want to provide another argument you need to provide the semicolon then okay now just hit the enter so here you can see we are getting the thicker orange line you can fill this down to apply to the other cell also and from here you can change the line width let's say you can take five it will be more thicker or you can take one even you can take here 0 0.5 if you want to more thinner line okay and let's fill this down you can change the color because we have taken the color argument here so that cell color will not be applied here all right friends that is how we can use the these argument now to learn more about these argument where we can use and what are the different type of chart we can use you can just click on learn more and as you click on learn more it will open this help window on the right hand side and here you can see all different sample uses then it is showing the syntax and in the syntax we can see the options which is optional and here we can use these things so first the chart type you can take the line bar column and win loss these four type of charts we can create and then for line graph we can use these things and for the column and win loss spark lines you can use these things okay and for bar we can use these things okay so now quickly i'll show you the column spark line so i will create the column spark line here so again we will use the spark line formula and select this range and comma in the curly bracket so first let's put inverted comma chart type and chart type we will take this time column okay and 
in the column you can take the color also what color you want to put we are taking the new argument put the semicolon and then put here inverted comma color let's say we want to take the color as sky blue okay close the curly bracket and close the main bracket and hit the enter so we are getting here column sparkline okay we have four quarter you can see so we are getting the four columns if you want to highlight let's say your top and bottom low or high in the different color then you can use here low color comma let's take red and here in place of this comma you need to provide this semicolon because we are starting new property here and just hit the enter so low is highlighted in red you can see similarly you can add semicolon high color comma and you can take green and just hit the enter fill this down you can see for the first product second is the highest and first is the lowest for this one first is the highest and third is the lowest so easily you can visualize it will give you the good analysis of trend of your data now i'll show you how it can be effective in the attendance also so quickly you can see the attendance here but if you use the bin loss spark line then easily you can identify the present and absent for the week we cannot apply the spark line over the text let me show you if i will try to use the spark line if i will select this range just close the bracket and hit the enter i'm getting here any because these are text and this will work only on numbers so let's delete this so what i have done i have added few columns here select this range right click and use the unhide columns here we have some other column again starting from Sunday to Saturday and here I have used the formula if u3 is p which is this cell if it is p means present then we will take positive one otherwise we will take negative one okay so here we are taking positive one for present and negative one for absent then we have filled this formula in whole range let me show you if i will take here present then this cell will be one if i will take here absent then this cell will be minus one now here we will use the spark line formula spark line and we will select this range and just close the bracket then you will see the spark line as a line chart but we need to use the bin loss chart here so i'll use the comma and the curly bracket and first i will use chart type and i will take bin loss okay and curly bracket close and just hit the enter so we are getting here bin loss chart and whatever the color of this cell text color it is taking according to that now we can use here neg color means negative color and negative color we can take red and friends if you will type in the capital or in a small it will not make any difference it will take that color hit the enter after this we are starting this new property neck color so we have to use here semicolon and just hit the enter and now we can fill this down so we have red and green green color we have just applied from here let's say if i will take this color then that color will be applied or I, if i will take this green then green will be applied okay add the color from here color and then you can take here blue and just hit the end so here you can see if we will provide the color property in the formula then it will not consider the text color you have given here it will consider the color which we have given inside the formula okay or you can use here green also so it is taking that green or you can use here light green so it is taking light green let's fill this down so here you can see it is working now we can hide these columns okay so select these columns right click and you can hide now if i will mark the absent here then you can see another red if i will mark this absent another red if i will mark the absent in the last we can see one more red here so friends that is how you can use the spark line in google sheet you can use the spark lines in your daily report or your business dashboard to make it more readable and analysis friendly 
Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.